In the previous lecture, we calculated the Laplace transform and the region of convergence of time domain signal cos omega naught t multiplied to ut. And when I say region of convergence of cos omega naught t multiplied to ut, this means I am talking about the region of convergence of the Laplace transform of cos omega naught t multiplied to ut. It is understood that I am talking about the region of convergence of the Laplace transform which is s over s square plus omega naught square and we found the region of convergence is sigma greater than 0. Now in this lecture we will calculate the Laplace transform and the region of convergence of sin omega naught t multiplied to ut. So our time domain signal ft is equal to sin omega naught t multiplied to ut and we are required to calculate its bilateral Laplace transform fs and the region of convergence of the Laplace transform fs and we will follow the same process we followed in the previous lecture that is first we will write sin omega naught t in terms of complex exponentials and then we will multiply ut to the complex exponentials and after that we will rearrange the equation and we will calculate the Laplace transform of individual exponential signals and finally we will combine the Laplace transforms following the linearity property and we will have fs. So let's quickly write down signal ft after writing sin omega naught t in terms of complex exponentials we can write sin omega naught t as 1 over 2j inside the bracket e power j omega naught t minus e power minus j omega naught t ut is multiplied to sin omega naught t so we will multiply ut here in the next step i will move ut inside the bracket so we can write signal ft is equal to 1 over 2j inside the bracket e power j omega naught t multiplied to unit step signal ut minus e power minus j omega naught t multiplied to unit step signal ut. Now we will focus on the calculation of Laplace transforms of the two exponential signals we are having here. I will not explain the complete process to calculate the Laplace transform and the region of convergence because in the previous lecture while calculating the Laplace transform of cos omega naught t ut we have followed all the necessary steps and calculated Laplace transform and ROC. So why wasting time again calculating the same thing when you can refer to the previous lecture. So I will quickly write down the Laplace transform of the first exponential signal we are having. Its Laplace transform is equal to 1 over s minus j omega naught and the region of convergence is sigma greater than 0 and for the second exponential signal the Laplace transform is 1 over s plus j omega naught and we have the same ROC sigma greater than 0. Now we will use the linearity property to obtain the final Laplace transform fs. You can see that we are subtracting this time domain signal from this time domain signal and therefore we will do the same thing in the frequency domain as well. This means to get fs we will subtract the Laplace transform of this signal which is 1 over s plus j omega naught from the Laplace transform of this signal which is 1 over s minus j omega naught 1 over s minus j omega naught and you can see in time domain after performing the subtraction we are dividing the result of subtraction by 2j so we will do the same thing in the frequency domain as well after performing the subtraction we will divide the result by 2j. Now simplifying this we will have our final Laplace transform. So let's quickly simplify it 
we will have 1 over 2j inside the bracket we will have s plus j omega naught minus s plus j omega naught divided by s square minus j square omega naught square you can see in the numerator s and minus s will cancel out so we have 1 over 2j in the numerator we will have twice of j omega naught twice of j omega naught and in the denominator we will have s square plus omega naught square j square is equal to minus 1 so we can write this minus s plus and after this I will cancel out this 2j and 2j so finally we are getting the bilateral Laplace transform fs equal to omega naught in numerator and s square plus omega naught square in denominator and now we will focus on the calculation of region of convergence of fs as the two laplace transforms are having the same region of convergence the final region of convergence will also remain same that is sigma greater than zero so this is our final result the laplace transform and the region of convergence and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one